So what are the best e-bike lights for commuting? That's coming right up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Cordero. Welcome to Run Playback, where we help you with video and tech tips to lead a more efficient and affordable lifestyle. Let's be creative and save money at the same time. Today, we're gonna check out the Shred Lights Commuter Pack, a modular lighting system pack designed specifically for bikes. In this video, we'll combine the Commuter Pack with our existing Shred Lights and see how they hold up during some night riding on our Super 73 Z1s. And just a reminder, my goal is to always be unbiased and transparent with my opinions. This video is not endorsed or sponsored by Shred Lights. Let's get to it. What up, Patrick? Hey, how you doing, Rick? <laughs> so we're here at Patrick's crib, and I got some new stuff, man. What do we got? We got Shred Lights. Shred so, Lights? Yeah. So Shred Lights are lights that I used to use on my electric skateboard, and they actually can fit on bikes now. So what I wanted to do is test it out on your bike. It's a modular system and they're really lightweight. So it's like waterproof and you can kind of put it anywhere on the frame. So this is the bike uh, commuter pack. I think we could put them like two over here. Yeah, pretty easy. Spread them apart a little bit, yeah. pop them. Mm -hmm. So there's actually, oh, that's yeah, interesting. I was squeezing them like this, <laughs> but actually that's on and off. Or... There's different modes. Oh, wow. Yeah. But if you squeeze it all at once, it shuts it off. <laughs> and something like that. And then if you press it once, and it, it cycles through the different modes. That's cool. Yeah. You could put the one with the adhesive, yeah, on the back fender. And then do, the, do these pop off so you can charge them? Yeah. Oh, the, oh, wow, that's how, I was about to break it. <laughs> <laughs> Very intuitive. And that's actually a really good cover, it looks like. If you clean off like some of this here, yeah. you could pop it on there. Oh, so this one actually is red. Yeah. How do I, how do I, oh, so, so the, the ring the, around yeah, this yeah, is the difference. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and it's kind of curved as well. Yep. So maybe like here. But like stand over here because you center it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. There's another mount here and we'll put that on your backpack. Oh, so that's here. Yeah. Oh, sweet. So this basically just pops in, man. If you put it like in a pocket, I think you could have it facing, facing outwards like that. You know what I mean? Let's give it a try. Yeah. Adjust it a little bit. And this is good because I've been several times riding around in the dark. Really? Uh, yeah, and it's kind of scary, <laughs> right? Like every time I see a car coming, I'm like, all right, let me shoot over to the, um, the sidewalk. All right, let me know, does that look good? You yeah. think? Does the purpose? Yeah, so we got the uh, brake light, or the, not, not brake light, yeah. sorry, a tail light on here to show people. And then the lights up front, which are kind of nice. I mean, playing around, you can just move them up and down mm -hmm. uh, really easily. And uh, the, you know, if you look at the beam of light, it's pretty wide. Yeah. Even your back, even your backpack light is like shining them <laughs> all yeah, the way to like, the back. I think because we have light in the back, it's hard to tell how. Oh wow! Yeah, you yeah. see it blinking on the. Um, yeah, definitely. You can see that from far away. Have you considered any way to tie these? Uh, like into a hub that yeah. then charges via the battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's cool. It comes with cables that actually um, splitter cables. Okay. So it, you could do like one USB port into two lights. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. So you could actually rig up a USB battery if you want, like over here or something. Oh, and then you don't have to worry about charging so often. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My, I mean, like my my challenge is I always forget to charge charge the lights and then you go to use them in the dark and it's like oh man yeah. um uh, so yeah these definitely are uh much brighter i've used some other lights on my bike that uh you know they don't have as much focus um uh, in comparison and so like they do a purpose of more or less making sure someone sees you but they don't do a good job at seeing the road so well it's getting dark so all right you gonna try them So it's, it's uh, I mean, this is really bright. Sun is setting. 
I think the, the only thing I need to do is put zip ties here because I haven't yet. Um, and then I won't have these lines in the light. Uh, number one, I, I feel like people are gonna see me, so that's pretty good. I don't know, there's a bunch of cars coming, but if we stay to the right, we'll be fine. I definitely like the focus. Uh, definitely not quite as bright as a car light, right? But um, bright enough to make sure people know you're on the road. Should get some uh, pedal in. So it's getting a lot darker now, and uh, we're kind of going through dark, these trees, right? And everything's lit up. I mean, I can see everything in front of me, every bump. Um, you know, don't have to worry too much about what's ahead. I can see, I mean, probably a good 20, 30 feet ahead of me uh, with these lights. So really nice. Seem to bounce off the trees as well. The lights themselves, like they stay in place really well. Even when I push on them, they don't really move at all. Um, so that's a, uh, that's a big positive. And then I can't even see the back, right? So I just assume they're doing their job. Oh man, they're sweet. I mean, you know what's in front of you. Um, you can see it. Uh, I mean, crystal clear, whether it's a big path, small path, you see it all. Uh, you see every nook and cranny. So I'm a big fan, easy to install. Uh, they're really, you know, solid mounts. Like even if I push on them, they're not moving around. And a lot of bike lights, that's a big issue. And you're always constantly trying to adjust them on your ride. And I mean, we hit some big, big bumps, right? So uh, for them to stay in place like this, excellent. Yeah, we kind of went through that tunnel with the trees above, right? And the leaves and and uh, yeah, you could just see everything. And the, the light actually felt like it was bouncing off the, uh, the trees itself. There's not, I would say there's not a lot of respect on the road necessarily all the time where I'm at. And so like the more someone doesn't get surprised, right? The less likely they're gonna like yell at you or honk on, on the horn. So if you're looking for high quality bike lights made specifically for commuting, Shred Lights are a solid recommend. Based on their customer reviews, Shred Lights takes a lot of pride in listening to their audience and implementing their suggestions. If you wanna dive into more video and tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you save money on tech. I'll see you guys in the next video.